Hi, I'm Michelle Sterling for Friends of Science Society. Yale Climate Connection just released a video clip called How Reliable Are Satellite Temperatures? Right off the bat, they start by mocking Senator Ted Cruz for referring to satellite data in a recent hearing by calling him a climate denier. That's your first clue that this is not really about science. The premise of the video seems to be to try and undermine the scientists who say that satellite data is the most reliable data we have. Why do they say that? Well, satellites offer geospatial coverage of the Earth. We've had satellite data since 1979, 37 years, almost four decades of data. There's virtually no interference in space, though the Yale clip points out that four times the satellite data had to be adjusted for friction and closer proximity to Earth. That process was done, transparently and openly reported. The Yale clip makes much of the fact that satellites don't directly measure temperatures. They assess radiant energy, but they don't mention that daily weather balloon readings cross-match pretty consistently with satellite temperature data. One of the criticisms of the Yale group is that proponents like Friends of Science, who refer to the last 18 years of satellite data, do so because there was an El Nino in 1998, Therefore, they say any temperatures after that spike obviously look flat. Well, that's not why we use this data. We use it because this shows there has been no significant warming since before the Kyoto Accord was ratified. The accord that was supposed to reduce carbon dioxide and stop global warming. Here's what happened to carbon dioxide since Kyoto. The concentration has gone up, but the warming has not. Now, one fellow in the Yale video who actually processes the satellite data says something very important. He says, why don't they refer to all the data? Use the longest reference you have. We agree. This 1990 graph from the first IPCC report shows that temperatures used to be much warmer than today. Professional geophysicist Norm Kalmanovich explains. Go back 2,000 years. You have the Roman optimum of both. Uh, 200 AD that was much warmer than today. You have the medieval warm period um, about a thousand years ago that was warmer than today, than any temperatures today. And we ask why solar influences are constantly ignored. I think the reason that uh, you can find an astrophysicist working in climate change is because uh, it turns out that uh, climate uh, is affected by things which are uh, outside the atmosphere. We think the satellite data is the most reliable instrument data we've got on temperature. What do you think? For Friends of Science, I'm Michelle Sterling.